I'm Tamara, the girl behind Starcraft Smith. So welcome back, or it's nice to meet you. Today's video is going to be a bunch of summer inspired knitting patterns. So the criteria for being in this video is, do I think this would be comfortable to wear in the summer? And do I think it's cute? Cause this is my YouTube channel and I just talk about things I think are cute. I love summertime knitting projects. I think knitting tanks can be such like an easy, fun break from longer term projects because you don't have to make the sleeves. And I think there's a lot of projects that are very comfortable to wear in the summer still. I still wear a bunch of my knits in the summer. And then also, especially for the tanks that I'm gonna show you, a lot of them layer under cardigans really well. So I actually wear a lot of my tanks year round. I'm wearing today a tank top that I designed, the Cherry Bomb Crop, which is in this like super, super stretchy cotton yarn that's super comfy. And I guess you can't see it, but I've got a really cute gingham linen skirt on too from Madewell that I got on Poshmark. So let's look at these knitting patterns. So I wanted to start with tanks and I wanted to start with tanks that I've actually personally knitted and really liked. So the first one I wanted to mention is the Snakes and Ladders tank. So I actually tested this tank. It uses cotton yarn. It has a ton of different suggestions on yarns that you can use. I use Wool in the Gang Shiny Happy Cotton and it's in a bottom up. It has kind of like a cut in racerback style top. But what I love about it is it has these like stripes of curls that you kind of place randomly, which I felt a little stressed out at first. I was like, will I place them randomly enough? But it's honestly so fun to just pick, like this is gonna be a little pearl stripe here. And I think the texture just adds a really interesting dynamic to it. And this is probably my most complimented knit that I haven't designed myself, especially from my non-knitting friends. Like a lot of non-knitting friends specifically were like, I love this tank top. So if you're trying to get complimented this summer, I guess, what can I say? The next tank on my list is the Anytime Tank. This tank is kind of like a DIY-ish. So you use your own gauge, which means you can use whatever yarn you want. And then you can also pick the ease for yourself. I made mine with a lot of negative ease and it's just a really cute layering tank. This is something that I wear under cardigans a lot in the winter and also make it a lot looser. It's really basic, but it does teach you a little bit about like calculating your own measurements. So I think it's kind of cool for like ambitious beginners in that regards because you get a really cute tank out of it. You can use whatever yarn you have in your stash. You can like get different fits with the same pattern and you can like learn and practice a little bit of your own grading skills. Just a little bit though. It's like very approachable. Along similar lines is tank top number one by Dicey Points Knits. And this is also, I talked about it in my, my first six knits video, but this also gives you kind of an instruction on how to make something based off your own measurements and your own gauge. So I really liked this. It teaches you some bust shaping too, which I thought was a really cool thing to learn. So if you've never done that before, that could be like a cool way to get into it. Um, and then it has a couple of options if you wanna make it a halter, if you want to have the straps tie with bows on the top. So again, very like very adaptable. Um, and this one is made with a two by two rib. So it's like super stretchy and fitted, but very, very comfy. So another stretchy rib tank I think is really cute. I haven't made this one is the Easy Bralette by Svetlana Volkova. So this one has just really nice, simple shaping that leads from the straps into the neckline. And I just think it's really pretty and kind of like a staple. And it's recommended to use um, a merino yarn, but since it's since it's ribbed, I think you could also get away with cotton because ribbing is so stretchy. So that's really nice, or you could use some kind of blend. Um, but I think this one just looks very like polished and classy. And I could picture myself wearing this with like a linen button down over it in the summer and looking real cute. Next, I have a couple of wrap style tops that I just think are really pretty. So the first one is the wrap top or bra by Naked Knit. Naked Knit just makes some very like polished aesthetic layering pieces, I guess. I don't know. I picture this being like you wear this wrap top with like some linen pants and you're like sipping a beautiful coffee looking out at the ocean or something. Very like aesthetic goals in my opinion. Um, but I just think this one is really pretty. Um, looks very, again, very like polished and put together. I really like the low back and I just think that seems really lovely. Uh, they recommend making it in cashmere, which again, that fits into their whole aesthetic of like luxury minimalist sort of, but I think you could swap out for a much less expensive yarn too. And then the next wrap top is It's a Wrap Top by Anne Catherine. 
and this one uses cotton and I just think it's really interesting. I love that it's a wrap but it also has this like waist defining element and then in at least the longer photo that she shows it has a little bit of asymmetry with where the hem falls and I just think that looks really really cool. I love using ties in designs especially if it's like a waist defining element and I think this one looks amazing. It has some bust starts like I, I might make this now. I, I just think it is lovely, honestly. Okay, so getting into some more tanks. This one is the Dolce Vita tank by Emily Lewis. I have a couple bones to pick with this. One is that I wanted to use Dolce Vita as a pattern name for one of my own patterns, so. And then two is that I literally wanted to design a square neck tank with Pico details. This has like been on my two knit list and now I don't need to because Emily has you covered. Um, this is so cute. I, I literally love this top. I was planning on designing a top that looks exactly like this. So I couldn't recommend it more for that reason. This is so my aesthetic. I just think it's like a perfect casual but elevated if that makes sense. Like I love she's just wearing it with blue jeans and like a casual purse but I think it just elevates a look off of like a regular t-shirt. Maybe I will knit this too because why would I bother like making up my own if it's already just been made for me? Okay, this next one is called Breakfast in the Garden by Mini Me Knit Design. And this one has a V-neck and it has some kind of textured stitch pattern on it. Looks like it's a top that could look really cute with a little bit of negative ease on the bust or positive ease. So yeah, I, I'm into the cropped length too. And it's top down so you can make it as long or as short as you want. This next one I actually brought up already in my White Lotus inspired knitting patterns but it's a Stella top by Tweety Sheep. I just think this top similar to the Dolce Vita one is so beautiful. It's so my style. The beautiful square neckline and then this sort of like alternating knits and pearls into sort of an interesting not quite like it looks like it's alternating one by one rib and two by two ribs a little bit or, or three by one. I don't know but I love it. I think it's beautiful. I love it in white. I think it'd look amazing in other colors too. It uses a sport weight cotton yarn. And I just think again, this is kind of like an elevated basic look that I think would layer really, really well under cardigans too, once it gets cooler out. But in the meantime for summer, especially if you make it in like a more breathable fiber, perfect. I, no notes, no notes on that one. Another tank top that is so my style is the Astoria top by The Knit Yorker. It's got really beautiful bust shaping. Um, in this two by two rib. And again, rib is really stretchy, really comfortable. I love the bust shaping in this. I actually used very similar bust shaping for this off the shoulder sweater that I designed that I'm working on a pattern for. I just love how it looks. I think it's a very, very pretty detail to add. Okay, we're still in two by two rib stretchy world. The next is the live summer top. Flattering and kind of hugs your curves, has some bust shaping, but it also has this really interesting twist hem along the waist, which I think is really pretty. And I'm guessing is probably knit lengthwise based off of the direction of the ribbing. So love a semi-interesting construction detail like that. This one recommends using knitting for all of pure silk, which is a really great summer fiber to use. Silk is very breathable and very like easy on the skin. And yeah, I think this one just seems very simple and lovely. So this next one is called a slipover. It's called the ethereal slipover. So maybe it's meant to be a vest, but I really like the lace placement of this so it has kind of a high collar but with a lacy kind of open stitch pattern and then it has a solid panel around your bust and midsection and then it opens up with a lacy split hem and i think this is just a really cool like you get coverage um but it's still pretty open because it's using this lacy technique personally i love the way that lace work looks but it's a little bit tough sometimes for summer knitting patterns because i don't want to make something that i feel like i'm gonna have to wear something underneath if i'm already wearing it when it's hot out so i love this like plain stockinette panel that covers up the bust and your midsection because then you don't have to really think as much about do i need to layer like a cami underneath this knitted tank then it just starts to get too hot so I love that they went with that. I'm really into the split hem at the waist. Okay, so now let's talk ruffles. So ruffles are something that I saw on a lot of spring and summer 2023 trend reports. So I found a few different ruffle related patterns that I think would be great for summer. So the first one is the Kawaii Crop Top by Sachiko. 
And this is just a very simple V-neck tank. It has a little bit of vertical bust darts above the bust, it looks like. And then a really cute, ruffly, flouncy kind of peplum hem. It's got a little bit of positive ease around the waist. It's made in a cotton yarn. So again, I think that would just be very like breathable and comfy to wear in the summer, but um, gives you a little bit of shape with the ruffle and then also the bust shaping and also just gives a little bit more visual interest than just a plain baggy knitted tank. So next is the back to back top by Joan Ho. So this one has kind of a high neckline in the front and a peplum ruffle, but then a very pretty scoop back with a corset detail that ties across. Um, I love the big open back moment that you get a little bit of modesty in the front with the higher neckline and the peplum ruffle. This is something I talked about in my spring trends video too. Peplums in general have also been trending this year, which kind of goes hand in hand with the ruffle trend. So I think this one is just super, super cute for summer. And then some knitted tees that have ruffle elements. So the first one is the Brookline blouse. So this looks like a raglan knitted t-shirt that's made in air and weight cotton and it has some ruffle details along both the sleeves and the hem. It's very easy to wear. Um, it's got some positive ease. It looks like flowy and drapey and comfy. You get a little bit more coverage with your shoulders, but I think the ruffles keep things looking like girly and cute and easy at the same time. And the next one is the flutter butt shirt by Jessie Maid. So this one has a higher neckline and these very loose, open, ruffly sleeves that look very mermaidy to me. And then again, a ruffled peplum bottom. And this one is knitted in fingering weight, so very drapey, loose, light fabric, which is perfect for summer. I also wanted to share some t-shirts that I think are really cute to layer with too. So the first one is the Tolsta tee by Rebecca Clow. I feel like this one has been getting a ton of attention. It came out pretty recently. Um, and this uses a DK cotton. But what's really cool about this pattern is it has so many different options. So if you can do stripes, you can do eyelet hole stripes, which I think is super cute for summer. You can do polka dots, you can do plain, you can do bigger stripes, smaller stripes. So love a pattern that does like double, triple, quadruple duty, where you can take the same structure and like customize it to however you want. I just think that's a very cool way to format your patterns that are a little like choose your own adventure in that way. The next one is the cinch me crop. This one is a t-shirt or a tank top. The sleeves are optional where um, it has this like cinch feature in the center. And I just think that's a really cool element to add to a knit. I haven't seen that many people do it. And um, I like that that means you can wear it like extra cropped if you're wearing something super high-waisted or you can leave it a little bit less cropped but still have the little bow detail of the tie along your waist. And then the last tee pattern is the Mio Mai Tee by Park and Knit. And this one is made in a DK cotton yarn. This just looks like a really cute basic t-shirt. It's got a nice high neck. It's got little cap sleeves. It just looks comfy. It looks very wearable, easy to style, easy to wear. So if you're looking for kind of like a workhorse knitted tee, I would totally go with this one. Okay, so I wanted to share a couple of dresses too. So the first one is a daisy chain dress and crop because it's in a top down so you can either just end it as a crop top or you can keep knitting and make it a full on dress. And um, this one is made with an Erin cotton. So the tank version I'm sure would go very quickly, um, but it has this really pretty like lacy detail that makes up the straps and then the edges of the top. And I just think this is so pretty. And then the next one, this is a bigger undertaking for sure. The next one is the Melly, I don't know how to say this, Melides? Melides dress. I feel like when I'm watching this, I'm gonna look at how I pronounce that and be like, no, it's obviously something else obvious, but for some reason I don't know how to pronounce it. So this one is made with a fingering weight silk yarn, the Knitting for Olive Silk, which is going to be a lot more stitches than an Erin weight yarn, for instance, but will give you a super, super comfy drapey fabric. And I love this one has really nice shaping details along the waist and the bust. I like that it's sort of like a visible princess seam. I think it's just very pretty and adds some interest to this otherwise kind of basic dress. And you can wear it either way with a scoop back or with a v-neck front with buttons down the front. And then lastly, I wanted to share just a few bag patterns. I feel like something about a knitted bag in summer just feels right. Maybe because you're like going to picnics, you're going to farmer's markets. It's just tote bag season in my opinion. So 
The first one I have to plug, my tote bag pattern, the summertime tote bag, literally made for that purpose. Um, and it comes with a guide to sewing a lining on the inside. There's like a cherry, a daisy, and a gingham color chart in the pattern. I added a light pink gingham lining to my blue gingham bag and it just makes me happy. It just feels very summery. And then another tote bag pattern I wanted to suggest is the Summer Fling by Espace Tricot. I think this one uses a linen yarn and it has kind of a seamless strap that goes into the structure of the bag. This just looks like all purpose, useful bag. I don't know if it has a lining added to it, but I think the linen would definitely make it like hold up pretty well. And I like the color blocking that they use in there as especially with some of the like natural fiber, just looks very summery and very like easy to use. And then this is kind of just for fun, the Grapefruit Pouch by Yun Jung. So freaking cute. It looks like a little grapefruit. You could also make it in yellow for a lemon or orange for an orange. This one is just kind of a little bit silly and fun with its little leaf. I, I don't know, I might make this. This just looks really cute. I like can't even help myself. Okay, so those are some of my summer knitting recommendations. Like I said, I love knitting summer things. I love knitting year round, but uh, summer knitting, underrated. I hope that you found something in this video that either inspires you or makes you potentially interested in some summer knits if you haven't made any before. I'd love to know out of the patterns that I showed, what do you think is the cutest? Or what do you think is the worst recommendation? I was looking for enemies. And if you're not a subscriber and you like to knit or you like the idea of learning how to knit, I guess, which was me for a while before I actually learned, uh, I'd love if you subscribed. I share videos on here every Friday, all sorts of things. I share my projects, my designs that I'm working on, also just like general knitting inspiration, craft, stuff, yarn hauls, whatever. Stay tuned if you're interested for more and thank you so much for watching. I love hanging out with y'all in here and I'll see you next time, I hope. Bye.